of my awesome viewers, this is Deadchat, and welcome to another Clash Royale video. So in this video, we are going to be introducing some cards from, I think, I forget when arenas, but a lot of them are legendary cards, and they're in the new arenas, probably past arena, I should say, yeah, past arena 9, when I first left off. So, no further ado, let's jump, let's dive in, into those new cards. So the first card that we have is the Wage card. Increases increases troop movement and attack speed. Buildings attack buildings attack faster and summon troops quicker to wait to charge I should say or charge or something like that. Anyway, so this spell is very great. You can use it on enemies as long as you have. I mean, if you have solo enemies, you could probably use it. And as long as you have it in a very good deck, it works pretty well. And I actually really like it. And I think you can also increase it by. Well, you can increase the duration. So. Yeah, that's the rage for you. Next we have the Earthquake. Deals damage per second. Troops and Crown Towers. Deals huge building damage. Does not affect flying units. It is an Earthquake after all. Earthquake. Oh, I see. So this card is very good when it comes to taking out ground troops. It is actually a very new card to Clash Royale. Or has been new. Actually, it has been... Has been a card for a while now, but for those of you that have been that haven't played Clash Royale in a while, this is very new and it can it can deal some damage. It can also slow down. It can take out skeletons pretty easily. I would recommend I guess upgrading it with any card. Next we have the clone. Duplicates all friendly troops in in the target area. Clone troops are fra are, are fragile but pack but pack the same punch as the original. Doesn't affect buildings. So this card is very good if you have a lot of small units. Just be careful how you use it because um, once you clone something, it only has one hit point. So if you have not, if you don't have a lot of troops, you might not want to clone them. I mean, it kind of works well if you use it correctly. If you use it correctly, it works well. If it doesn't, I mean, yeah, use it use it well. That's that's what I should say. Use it well. Next we have the Ice Wizard. The chill caster throws ice shards that slow enemy that slow enemies' movement and attack speed despite being freezing cold. He has a he has a handlebar mustache that's too hot for TV. Okay. Was with these wizards saying they're too hot so they have the handsome mustache. I don't know why. So th this card is very good for slowing down units as well as taking out skeletons. Not nearly as good as the wizard, but it can withstand. I mean, it it can deal some damage. So, very good. I mean, on the fence, I should say. Very good when used properly. I will say that. Next, we have the princess. This stunning princess shoots flaming arrows from long range. If you are feeling warm feelings toward her, it's probably because you are on fire. So, you know, oh, yeah. If you are feeling warm feelings towards her, it's probably because you're on fire. So this card is very good when taking out small units. It can act, and it is, if it is an attack, it can actually destroy a princess tower without the princess tower actually defeating the princess. If that makes sense. And many of you have seen me play this card before, but here is the actual description of the princess. Next, we have the bandit. The bandit dashes to her target and delivers an extra big hit while dashing. She can't be touched. The mask keeps her identi identity safe and gives her bonus bonus cool points. Okay, so this card is very good when taking out you when taking out buildings. It's not as nearly as good as the Mega Knight, but it can do some damage. It can do when used correctly. It can do some damage. So and you might also want to have units by her. Next, we have the Inferno Dragon. Shoots a focus beam of fire that increases in damage over. <coughs> excuse me. Increases in damage over time. Wears a helmet because flying can be dangerous. <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, give me a second. Oh man, I just woke up this morning, so. Anyway. So this dragon is very good when taking out when taking on buildings. It is basically a I forget what the tower is. It's something down here ish. Oh, it is the infernal tower on basically the internal internal tower on 
Inferno Tower on wings, and it can sh and it can destroy a building in like ten sec in probably like ten seconds flat if you leave it standing and no one attacks it. So it's very good when used properly. I always keep saying use properly because you want to use them properly. Next we have the Zappies. It spawns a pack of miniature zap machines. Who controls them? Only the master builder knows. Okay, so these yep. Yeah, so these guys they're very good. But you want to level them up, and they can stun enemies. They're basically a mobile spell, but can be used very, very rapidly, and can slow down an enemy too. So, <sighs> oh. uh, man, I forgot to take my allergy medication, and this is happening during my recording. I'm, I'm sorry, folks, if this is happening during my recording. You can always speed up this. So, yeah, Zappy is very good when used correctly. Next we have the Electro Dragon. I have not used this, but it I've seen it in action. It's pretty good. Spits out bolt, bolts of electricity hitting up to three targets. Suffers from middle child syndrome to boot. Middle child syndrome to boot. Okay. Well, essentially this dragon is very powerful. It can stun enemies. It is almost... I, Actually, I think it's a bit, it's weaker than the actual spell, which is lightning, I believe. Yeah, it's lightning. And that takes out three targets as well, but it's basically, it's basically a zap on wheels. And, yeah, I haven't tried it before. Looks, it, I, I see it in action, it's pretty good. So, it's good for the most part. Um, sorry about that. Next we have, I'm just seeing if there's any more cards. Um, let's go with the Royal Hogs. So, the Kane's personal pets are loose. They love to chomp on apples and towers alike. Who let who let the hogs out? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who let the hogs out? Ooh, 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 ooh. Who let the hogs out? Ooh, ooh. I'm sorry, I had to, had to say that. Anyway, so these guys are very good as long as you have like a wizard by them to. As long as you have something to back them up, they can they can take down a tower. If you leave them be, they can devour. So, those are the hogs for you. Um, when I was when I was preparing this recording, I realized that I was missing a card. I am going to go down here one time. If you see that missing card, or if you haven't seen that card description before, please leave a comment in the description of this video because I would like to cover every card if possible. If I've covered every card and to your recount, and you might have to go back to certain videos, that is okay. That is fine then. That I just that's just. Clash Royale misjudging me. I mean, I'm seeing it right now. Yeah. There's really... There's no other cards I really need to go over. Did I win over the Three Musketeers? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I think I went over them. Anyway. So, that those are the cards for you. And now let's go straight into battle with our deck, which is... Cost 3.8 Luxor. So... Luxor, so. I was fighting this deck with my last battle, and it is very good for the most part. It can take down enemies. It is very powerful. And one of my clanmates has used this deck. It is very powerful. And, oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> wow. He basically just zapped. Okay. Let's uh, get rid of that. Hopefully we can get that. There we go. Got that move. And oh, you've got to be me. Really? 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 Okay, what is with these three skeletons? They're very annoying. Oh. Oh, there, there goes the Anna. Alright, so we got skeletons on the list. So I can get Minotaur. That's our miniature mag, mini, mini, mini P.E.K.K.A. That's why, that's, that's why it is, mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, this is lovely. I need a heal. Oh, but he, here's the, here's the, here's the fun part. Look at this. See? See? This deck is very powerful. To get this deck. Awesome. If you have glass, if you have glass royale, you should get this deck. It is awesome. 
So now we have our hog rider. Hog rider. And we still have our still that. And I mean I get the three musket the musketeer, not the three musketeer design. And hopefully we can get, um, I don't think we're gonna get the castle. We could try. Oh, hopefully. Well, thank you for that. There we go. Have that. Get the lumberjack out here. Alright, come on, let's get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Gim Gim, there we go, got him, got him on the loose, got him on the loose, oh, these guys are running, 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 oh, we are going to take him down, we're going to take him down, we're going to take him down, come on, take him down, take him down, take him down, take him down, come on, 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 we can do this, we can take this down, we can take this down, we can take this tower down, come on, come on, come on, oh, you've got to be kidding me, really, seriously, seriously, Cannon, you're going to do that, you're going to do that to me, okay, and then, suit yourself, and nope. So we didn't get all the crowns, I'm sorry. Did not mean to do that. I will certainly invite him to the clan, though. He seems like a very nice guy. Very good deck. Jeremy? Okay, Jeremy. You have been invited to my clan. So that is that deck in action. We're going to use it again because that deck was really powerful. And we got up to 316. I think we passed... I think we passed my trophy count, if I'm correct. Yes, we passed my trophy count. So, let's go at it again. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can get to the other, other arena. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He's 11. Oh, this is going to be absolutely lovely. I don't think we're gonna get out of this in one piece. This guy is like 11. Oh man. Now I know what it feels like to be over exaggerated. Not over exaggerated, that's not even the word. What to describe it? Though I am resisting him. So he brings him at him. We're just gonna wait. I'm gonna get my elixir up. And then we are gonna go straight at him. Hopefully, he won't be too feisty. You don't do that to my men. I don't care who you are. You don't do that to my men. Alright, that's it. I had enough. I had enough of you. I don't want you anymore. I had enough. You hear me? I had enough. You gotta be. Oh, this is. This is just. This is just lovely. We might lose this. I don't know. I, I'm, op I'm optimistic. We're probably gonna win, but we might lose this because this is just. This is just ridiculous. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Come on. Don't you dare overdo it. No. 
I am not losing. Okay, whatever. He's he's just. I blame that he was pure. I blame that he was like eleven. Yeah, good game. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, play spell cards 50 times and use racket. Okay. So now we're switching to a different deck. Goodbye, deck. Hello, new deck. Hopefully we can destroy him. And you will get to see my ice wizard. the shot <coughs> I'm to break out the elixir elixir counter and that all right come to me princess That's how you want to play. That's how you want to play. Oh, that's how you want to play, really? That's how you want to play? This is how you want to play? That's how you want to play? See, I told you they're destructive. And I think that, I think the last episode I told you that the skeleton bombers are destructive. They are destructive. I won't lie there. Come on, get him, get him. Oh, shoot. I don't know if we're gonna get this. So I have a minute rain. I'm just enjoying the action. In his defeat anyway. I'm enjoying, the, I'm enjoying the action in his defeat. His defeat. More like my defeat. No, uh, I could reason. Oh man. Yeah, this is. This is. We're done. Oh man, I was doing so well and then I dropped. And apparently, well apparently I'm getting a lot of clan members. I should be getting a lot of clan members. Here we go. Mm. Alright. I won't really want to get that chest slap, but I think we ran out of time. I'm going to call it, we ran out of time. So yeah, sadly though, we have just run out of time in this episode here. In the next episode, we will be... I don't know, we are... I guess the next episode of Clash Royale, we'll probably be doing a live stream. Don't know if we'll... Don't know if that's for sure. And that live stream may or may not work due to my recording equipment. And then next year, next episode as a whole, we will be doing the how to... How to... We'll be doing a wrap-up of the how to tutorials with an evaluation survey. Or with an about with with just a survey of how I did, how what'd you learn out of it, what what didn't you learn out of it, what could I do better, something like that. I haven't developed it yet, but I'll explain it once that comes to it. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, farewell to meet again.